Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. If this is your first time, hi, my name is Marquita Bianca and I'm a fashion editor based in Virginia Beach, Virginia. I do a lot of day in the life vlogs that focus on the fashion industry, career in fashion study. Um, I also teach fashion career and study um, at our center, which is located in Virginia Beach at Biolafusion Dance and Creative Arts Center. So today um, is going to look a little bit different if you have followed my vlogs up until now normally um, we've been working from home because we still are in the midst of a worldwide pandemic um, COVID-19 but um, there's a couple of different things that are going to happen because today I have to of course like normal jump on my coaching call with my tribe but after that I need to pack because I will be flying out to shoot a commercial for a client we'll talk more about that later so that means I also have to prep our facility and everything so that way I can good work basically out of state. So preparing for the flight and everything in the midst of COVID-19, it has been interesting. Everything's all booked and all of that. And I'm excited to go. Um, but of course with regulations and all of those things, it's just, it just looks different. It feels different. So not necessarily more difficult. It's just different. So follow me because I'm going to take you with me and we're going to pack and get ready for my trip. So before I hop on today's coaching call, I am going to knock out two promotional items that I need for this weekend's market and also a blog um, for this week that will hit the website. So blogs are coming back to MarketiBianca.com starting this week. Whoop. So when you see this video, that means the um, blog actually went up on Tuesday or Thursday of this week. So I'm going to knock that out. Um, and then also those that subscribe to my email list, you will start receiving emails again this week as well. So I've got some really, really cool things that are coming up. Some awesome fashion designer interviews and just a lot more stuff. You know, New York Fashion Week is right around the corner. Baltimore Fashion Week is right around the corner. And just because I'm not attending in person, to some of these some I am and some that I'm not I will um, make announcements about that later but for those um, that I am attending of course I'm going to take you with me and then for those that are doing virtual items I still want you guys to stay up on everything fashion so the email list is the place to be for that because as soon as it posts those who are part of the email list automatically get emails so make sure that you not only like and subscribe for this channel and the content here, but also go to marquitabianca.com and subscribe for the email list. So I'm going to knock these out real quick. guys so coaching call all done um i wanted to take just a second to update you guys there's so much stuff going on so so that this makes sense in the sake of bringing you guys to work with me the last time that i posted a vlog i was redoing both my home office and my facility office um so when i'm of course working in the building then you know i have an office to work from and then when i'm working from home which remember we have been home for like what three four months now um when we couldn't go into our offices so I need to make them both comfortable. So they are both pretty much done. There's still things that I wanna do in my home office. So I would say it's about 75% the way done. A lot of it also is just the fact that I wanna reorganize things. And you know that it's just a matter of me sitting down and getting her done because, you know, COVID. Gotta make the time for it. I'm trying to go outside. They don't wanna let us outside. Wear your mask, you guys. Just wear a mask so that we can eventually go back outside. So also the last time we talked um, in the vlog, I was doing 75 hard. So I absolutely love 75 hard. Um, I ended up getting a little sick and not like COVID sick, but I had a infection in one of my, my teeth, I should say, in a tooth. I had a tooth infection. 
And so over the course of like two days, I woke up and I was having a hitch moment. I remember in the movie when his face was just really, really swollen. Um, and that was, I wanna say like a Thursday and Friday. So by the time that I called my dentist, of course the dentist's office, not only are, you know, they're seeing less people because of COVID, but they were closed because it was the weekend. So the doctor prescribed me um, with a um, antibiotic over the course of the weekend and the swelling literally took like the whole weekend to go down. And I will be honest. And Andy's the first person to say like, F your excuses. I'm all for that too. Um, but in the matter of between COVID, going out and I wanted to get more sick, and then also just really not feeling good at all, I did not do my 75 hard. So I am restarting it. I'm completely fine with restarting it. Um, this 75 hard for me is more of like lifestyle change, getting um, strong, of course, both physical and body, but also in my mind. Um, so it's not something where, like I plan on doing this cycle of 75 hard after completing it, you know, a few times. So it's it's, this is not a sprint for me. This is, you know, like a long distance run. So I'm starting it over. Make sure you check out my Instagram. Um, click and follow me there because I am posting, you know, updates for that and everything. Not every day, but just kind of checking in and letting you guys know like what day I'm on and everything. So I am just recently restarted that. So if you're doing 75 hard, some of you messaged me and said that you saw it on my last vlog and that you're gonna be joining in, please. We need to stick together. So if you are new to 75 Hard, I will um, put a link below for the um, details of that. Also a link below for my vlog where I explain what 75 Hard is and why I'm doing it. And it is not easy. But in the sake of just kind of getting back after being sick and stopping 75 Hard, now this is just me getting back on routine. And I just, of course, just wanted to kind of share that with you. Um, during COVID, being in a routine is just already hard because so many pivots um, are needing to happen, whether it's your home life, whether it's, you know, business. And I'm seeing pivots in both of those. And so I'm just trying to navigate through it the best I know how. I know you guys are doing the same thing. So one of the reasons why I signed up for the... Um, the the coaching program that I'm a part of, which is um, Reframe Your um, Your Biz with um, Jill Bunny and Kristen Crawley. Um, not only do I love those girls, but in of course you know like local support now is just something that we just need, and women need to be standing behind them, behind each other. But for me, it's just such a big deal to kind of just have strict guidelines on certain things and then the things that I can just wow out for in life, then go for that too. But um, with COVID, you know, we're all having to e essentially like police ourselves, police our schedule because everything's different. You used to be able to go out to the office. Some of us are no longer doing that. So while I have a mixture of both, um, it is helping me to have accountability over here to just bounce things off of and then also just have a really cool tribe of girls where you can message and we're talking about things from not only just family and fun stuff but also just copy for your website you know what I'm saying so if you do not have just a tribe of people that you can go to or someone who you are accountable to for that um, I'm gonna put my um, link below that you can find out more information about the organization that Jill Bunny and Kristen have. It is really, it's one, it's affordable. It's not something for free. I do pay for it. It's so, so worth it. I have definitely seen just um, a change in me and my business and even, you know, being um, in the world of fashion, it doesn't matter what your background is, it's just helpful for everybody. But for, for me, just reestablishing routines after being sick, um, 75 hard and me having um, my two BFF coaches, I call them, um, that has completely changed so many things. Anywho, so that is where we are. So restarting 75 hard, still doing all of the, um, the, you know, being in the coaching and all of that with them. Um, the 75% of the office is being done. So I'm actually gonna change 
um, to head to the studio and grab some food. We have to meet up with a designer for a project that we're working on. I need to get the studio all closed down to be able to travel and then I'm gonna come back and pack. So let's go. While they shoot through, move the seat back, give me some room, boo. I'm a lot more than you used to. Fresher than double man, play it for the love of it. Only time I ever let baby say my government is when I'm cutting it. And then we gotta ride slow, sound like a murder scene. Neighbors call the five home. Sex like we X now. Baby, check my drive, yo. P90X now, later for that time home. Thinking they work it, but they really ain't. Them wanks just bust and really blaze. My pumps are fill the tank. So make this pitch stop whenever you get hot. Don't even get these dudes another tick from your wrist watch. Tell them kick rocks, wishing they could switch spots. But I got this shit locked. Dead boy, chain two. I ain't hiding nothing, baby. Everything in plain view. Gotta check the mirror. I'm about to switch the main view. For joining me for today's vlog so I'm going to go and watch a little bit of Netflix eat my dinner and get up and do it all again tomorrow I already did my second workout so I'm, I'll make sure to like put a list down in my um, vlog for my quarantine routine you'll be able to see what kind of workouts I'm doing what motivates me and you know all that good stuff and if you have questions just drop it down in the comment box See you guys next time.